Good morning, fellow programmers. Thanks for joining me. I'm T Pain, and welcome to Let's Learn Python Scripting. Please feel free to use the skip ahead feature on the right hand side to jump to any specific section or the examples. We'll be using Python 2.7.4. You can download it from python.org slash get it. Today we'll be focusing on how to create a simple script that'll create text files. This will build heavily on past lessons, so feel free to go back and review the Python basic section if anything is unclear. All right, so creating a simple text file, why do we want to do that? Well, it's a little known fact that text files actually give you the power to raise the undead. I know, right? <laughs> no, not really. But it will give you the power to create other Python files, uh, C, C++, HTML files, XML files, because they're all text-based files. This could be a way to create them easier, especially if there's tons of them that have a lot of the same code. You can use Python to create those files for you. All right, so our goal today is to create a script that will create a text file with the name as the date and then within the text file it will have 30 blank lines all right so without further ado let's go ahead and get started on my desktop i've created a folder called let's learn i'm going to open it up and as you can see it is completely empty so within here is where i'm going to put all my work so let's go ahead and open up idle okay so here we are in idle i'm going to go ahead and create a new window all right so we're going to begin our file by creating a function we're going to type def space create uppercase f file and then in the parentheses we're going to actually plug in dest in parentheses colon enter and what this is going to be doing is uh, the name of our function is create file and we're going to be passing in a destination or a string which is going to be a folder location after that we're going to type prints dest enter and then unindent enter again and now we're going to do something kind of strange bear with me going to type if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to and that's an equal to check so there's two equals single quotation mark underscore underscore main underscore underscore uh, in the quotations colon now what this line is doing is saying hey if the file name is equal to main or if this file is the main file that's being run following that we're going to go ahead and call the function um, that we created above so type create file open parentheses type ham because i love ham and then close the uh, parentheses and quotations enter and then we're going to end the file by typing in raw underscore input open parentheses open quotations type done with a few exclamation points in quotes in parentheses enter save and now we're going to choose the destination we're going to go to desktop and go under let's learn and we're going to name this um create text file dot py make sure you add on that dot py otherwise it will default to saving it as a dot txt file which is totally useless in this case all right go ahead and click save all right now let's go ahead and go to the file on your desktop um, mine's under let's learn and double click the file and watch what happens now uh, in windows it opens up this command prompt um, in mac i believe it'll open up the terminal um, otherwise, it may just open up idle and run it within there. So what's printed out is ham and then done. So we were just double checking to see that our script is actually working, that we didn't have any naming errors or anything like that. Cool. So let's move forward. So now we're going to begin the file by actually importing a few modules we'll need later on. So go ahead and go to the very beginning of the file, type enter enter to give yourself some space. Begin the file with import time as t this import time is because I'm the doctor that's a bit, terrible joke terrible joke okay so what we're doing with time is we're gonna be using the date um, from this module to uh, uh, name our file so that's why we need time next we're gonna type in from OS import path and we're gonna use path to double check that the file is not already created so this way if the script is called again after it's already been run once we are not overriding on the text file that is already in existence. Next, we're going to begin with one of the most important steps of uh, programming. We're going to type in the description. So in triple quotes right below the function definition, we're going to go ahead and type in the script 
creates a text file at the past in location comma names file based on date. That's good enough description. So we're going to go ahead and delete this line, this uh, debug line that we had created, print dest, delete that. And now we're going to begin with our main code. Next, we're going to type in date is equal to t dot local time, open parentheses, t dot time, open parentheses, close, close, both parentheses, enter. And what this line is saying is, hey, grab the time um, within this function is, hey, grab the current time and convert it to a usable format in a list. Next, we're going to type in name is equal to single quote percent sign D underscore percent sign D and one more th a third time percent sign D dot TXT in quote. And then we're going to type in percent sign, then type parentheses date open bracket one close bracket comma and then type date open bracket two close bracket and then type for a third one uh, date open bracket zero close bracket percent sign 100 close close and we're good all right so what does this actually do well we want the name of the file to be based on the date and the way I've broken it up is it's going to type in month, day, year. I'm going to go ahead and make that a comment. File name is equal to month underscore day underscore year. A special note about the year though. I didn't want to have the full like uh, 1987 or 2013 in this case um, as the year. I actually wanted just the last two digits of the year. And so the way I did that was at the very end of this file, I used a percent 100 and what this says is what is the remainder if I were to continually divide this by 100. In other words, I just want to get the last two digits of the year. So type in enter a few times to give yourself some space and next within the function we're going to type in if not open parentheses path dot is file open parentheses dest plus name close close parentheses colon enter and what it's saying is like hey if this file does not exist let's go ahead and do create the file so next we're going to type in f equals open open parentheses dest plus name comma and then next we're going to type in single quotations oops single quotations w in quotations and parentheses and what this will do is it will actually create the file in a writable format. That's what the W stands for. So next we're going to type in F dot write open quotations and then single quotation slash N in quotations. And then we're going to do something funky and go times 30 in quotations. And what this is saying is just write new line. This is the character for new line backslash N is a new line and write that 30 times. In most of the languages, this wouldn't work. Um, but this is a great shortcut that Python provides, so that's one of the reasons I love it so much. And then we're going to go ahead and close out the file by typing f dot close, open close parentheses, and that's it. Perfect. So we've now completed our definition for creating files. Now, at the very bottom of the file, we're going to go ahead and change this uh, ham and substitute in the actual location of the file we want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and create another variable just to make this more readable and type in destination is equal to and then I'm gonna paste in the location of this file copy there paste it and then I'm gonna end this with a double backslash in the quotation perfect and now I need to actually adjust this because a single backslash character is used to identify specific characters within Python strings so we actually need to make if we're gonna create a backslash character is just double them up upon each other now, if you notice this line runs on really long and we're getting cut off here on the ends, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go to right after it says users, type in one more backslash to end up with three, and then just type enter once. And what this says to Python is, hey, uh, this string is now being broken up and is continued on the line below. All right, and then we're going to replace ham with the variable we just created above, destination, save, 
and now we're going to go ahead and run it. And I'm going to double click on the file and it says done. And now within the file, boom, we've created it based on the date. And if we go ahead and double click on that text file, we'll open it up. I use Sublime Edit as my primary text editor. And we can see we've created 31 lines. We started out with one line as a, all files default with one line. And then we typed in enter 30 times. And then we, so we've got 31. Perfect. Great job. All right. Thank you so much for watching and great job keeping up. Definitely take a few minutes to investigate these final challenges and see if you can solve them. I think you can. Please leave me a comment below to let me know if this helped you. Also, do me a huge favor and please subscribe to my channel. It would really mean a lot to me. Thank you for all your support and keep the dream alive. Mm -hmm.